What's up, my friends? So today I thought I would share with you how to make your own moss pole at home. Today I'm going to be making it for this philodendron spur. Unfortunately, I don't know the correct pronunciation for the species name, so I'm not even going to try. I fell in love with it because of these red, hairy petioles. I think they are amazing. But to help this guy's growth, even though he has got a bit of support, I'm going to make him my own moss pole. So, if you'd like to follow this at home, or make one yourself, you're going to need a bamboo stick, some sphagnum moss, some twine, and some clippers as well. So once you've got all of your materials, it's time to start making because I don't have anywhere suitable in my flat to really do anything like this. I've got dough on my floor and I've got these drip trays to help me. So I'm going to get some moss and just lay it down and keep measuring. So at the bottom, I'm going to leave, I'll probably break that bit off and later leave a good maybe like three three inches where that bottom part of my bamboo stick will be going into the potting medium and then you want to cover the rest with as much sphagnum moss as possible so it does get fiddly does get a bit hard that's kind of the fun of it I think so make sure there's enough when I grab it over grab another another drip tray but I might just start here so I'm gonna break it up into do it in little bits I think today but once you're you've got your kind of placement it's then time to start using the twine to tie it together so you want to get a bit around and underneath the top. Pull some ex excess twine through. And then it's just a matter of winding it around. Actually, I think I need to go the other way. You want to leave a little bit of twine at the top so when you come to secure it you've got enough twine there to be able to do that and then oh, this is, does get very very fiddly but let's give this a go really it is just a case of winding the twine around and secure it in place. There we go, that is really simple method. 
and in due time the aerial roots will begin to attach themselves to the pole so let's get my plant back it is quite messy doing this let's take that out of the way God, don't need that anymore. Let's just move this guy in there. There we go. And he's already got a bit of a twisting formation. I might just need to wait until he's starting to go over. So I'm going to touch him there. I'm going to have to wait until this one starts to grow a little bit more before I try and attach him to this top part. But hopefully this will start to encourage him to grow upwards and it's going to help with quicker growth and larger leaf growth. But there we have it. That is a really easy way to make your own moss balls at home. I've got a little bit more, yeah, more information up on my blog, so please do check it out. But thanks so much for watching. More videos to come soon, hopefully. But yeah, see you guys soon. Keep on growing. Bye.